What's good superstars? Back with another video and you guys loved the last time when I reacted to Dmash and when my wife reacted to Dmash. You've been leaving me comments telling me what I should be watching. So this one is just basically the next one in line. I've learned so much from you guys. Basically Dmash is from Kazakhstan and he was on those last videos I was watching he was performing on The Singer and it's a Chinese show but he was a wild card entrant. So these are all things that you guys taught me in the comments. So if I get anything wrong let me know down below. Don't yell at me because I'm just new to this right so let me know down below uh, what I'm missing or anything else you think I should watch uh, guys subscribe to the channel you know I love when you do that what do you guys think of the hair by the way look at this fresh fresh cut here what do you think react to my hair guys react to it. like this is out of bed too like not even done up like really fresh right really fresh haircut so got a shout out to my barber Joe you know what it is <laughs> But guys, I appreciate all the love on the last few videos. I did an another one on BTS. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. But we're gonna get right into this. This is apparently the next video in line after SOS. So I did watch SOS, and that was the first DMASH video I've ever seen. And apparently I watched the, the correct one first. I didn't know, had no idea, but you guys let me know and you said SOS was his first, first performance. Nobody knew who this guy was. And the next day he went uh, out in public and he basically needed security guards because it was uh, it was crazy. His performance took the, the city, the, the country, the world by storm. And now this guy's a powerhouse worldwide known and he's having concerts sold out in New York. You think I didn't see those comments? I seen those comments. I see all the comments. So guys, be nice down there because I'm watching. Anyways, we're gonna get right into this. this this is the next song that he sang on the show apparently if I'm wrong let me know if I missed one and we're gonna make sure that we watch it but right now we're going up to song number two from the singer uh, by Dimash Kudai Burganov Kudai Burganov Kudai Burganov you guys let me know let me know if I'm pronouncing this right maybe you can write it out like those little ones where they tell you exactly how to say it but Kuda Dimash Kudai Burganov opera 2 from 2017 I can't wait for this one I love the first one and I don't know how to uh, I don't know you guys been saying that every single Single time he sings is different, so I'm excited to see this. Let's get right into it. Love violins, <sighs> soft spot for violins. I love violins. There he is, so serious. Did not see that coming. guys in the back the crowds actually having a reaction they've seen him before but now they know to expect something great I guess the songs got hype beat by the way I like this little it's different you know Telling a story here. Oh, look at him, he's getting into it. Violence. 
But these are competitors. They know they're done. They know this guy's winning almost. Haha! <laughs> yeah, the crowd's finally got a reaction going. Thoughts in there, you know? Say something after watching that <laughs> this guy just like starts off the, the song it's like a story you know this guy starts off the song like even keel calm cool collected you can tell the crowd is more familiar with him now they're engaging they're loving him. the first time they were just like playing out shock they're like what the heck where'd this wild card guy come from now that i know that about the story because you guys let me know but then this one here they're expecting him to come out and they're like okay maybe he'll be good like last time maybe he'll just uh come out and sing and show us his different range but this guy here just like just telling a story you know and he was into it he's like putting the hand up putting the hand up over here and just controlling his voice and you can tell that he's just like pulling from places that people can't pull from it seems like because have you ever seen somebody like sing with that high pitch that much control let me know let me know if you've seen someone with that much control because i've never seen that so dmash is just this guy i don't know this is the second song and you guys are telling me there's like 15 or something like that in this show very different from the first one, I find. Very different. A lot more high notes that he was hitting that he was crushing. Like, people will go that high and they'll, their voice will break or crack or anything. This guy had none of that. This guy was just like consistent, consistent, consistent. And it was not like a screeching or yelling. It was very soothing. Like, I don't know, a really high-pitched voice and still soothing. Soothing to the ear. Like, you want to hear more. You want to hear... And then he, he even did some where he stuttered in the middle, like, on purpose. Control. Like, ah, ah, ah. Like, see, I can't do that, but... But this guy, this guy can do it. He can control his voice at different levels. I don't know much about like technical music or anything like that, but I know that that is probably not the easiest note to hit or you would hear a lot more of it. And I think basically like Dimash continues to prove to me at least, this is 2017, so like I can't wait to see the progression until 2020. I know that there's a lot more to watch and I can't wait and there will be watching it more consistently. But this is episode number two of Dimash from the singer and Opera 2 did not disappoint. He crushed it. And I didn't really expect him not to crush it, but I seen a different side right now. So this this kind of shows me the higher registry of him, I feel like, if that's the right word. And this guy, he just slayed that. He slayed the first one. The first one I feel like was a nice balance. And this one here, and the first one was like deeper. I feel like this one here, I could tell he was telling a story and he even told it with the way that he performed. I feel like his presence was very much more there in this one than it was in SOS. I feel like the first one, maybe he was just standing there singing and just letting you hear his voice. This one here, he was commanding the stage almost. I feel like, and the crowd was into it, they're clapping, they're shocked, faces like, you know? <laughs> when you see some people with reactions like that, the, the people in the back, I guess his competitors, they're all shocked. Everybody's like, how am I gonna beat this guy? But anyways, shout out to Dmash. If you guys are not subscribed to his channel, make sure that you subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him on every platform because this guy deserves it. He's got a voice of an angel out there and he should be watched by everybody. Tell your friends about him. Don't worry about me. Just tell them about Dmash and let them know that this guy's incredible because I'm telling my friends because none of us have really heard of him before and we got to get the word out over here where he's less known than around the world. But let's keep shouting out to Dmash. Get him involved on all social medias. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the next one and I hope you stick around for more. As always, I love you and we'll see you in the next one.